Okay, so this is how to do a related t-test. So this is where your two means come from the same participants. Uh, so in this example I have two conditions, condition A and condition B, and each participant is represented by a separate row. So this is an important way in how to uh, set out your data when you're doing this type of t-test. It's very different to the uh, unrelated t-test or independent t-test. So this is just a um, example of a reaction time experiment where our scores are measured in milliseconds and we have two uh, conditions, condition A and condition B. We have 17 participants uh, and the analysis is very simple. So we go to analyze, compare means, we go down to the paired samples t-test. So now what we have to do is to move over into uh, this paired variables box the two means which we'd like to compare. Now in this example it's very simple because we only have two means. Uh, however, in uh, much research we'll have many more columns filled with data. So you need to select the relevant ones. All you do is highlight them both by holding down uh, control whilst you're selecting the two and then just hit the right arrow and it will put them into the paired variables box. There's nothing really that you need to change in the options dialog box so we can just hit OK and here we get our um, our output. So we first start off with a, a few descriptive statistics. So we have means, uh, the numbers in each condition, standard deviations and standard errors of each condition as well. And we move down. This is uh, the box of interest that reports the t-test. So here it shows that the difference between condition A and condition B is 54.8 milliseconds standard deviation of, of this difference is 79 milliseconds and the standard error of this difference is 19.16 milliseconds. Now the 95% confidence interval describes a lower and upper boundary for the confidence interval that the true mean lies within these boundaries. So the lower confidence interval is 14.1 uh, and the upper is 95. Uh, so this can be used if you're uh, generating graphs showing uh, the, the some aspect of the distribution together with your mean. But the t-statistic is reported here, so we have a t of 2.86 and with a degrees of freedom of 16, SPSS informs us that as a two-tailed test it is significant. So this value is below our um, criteria of 0 0.05 for significant, significance. This is 0 0.01, so it's um, highly significant. Uh, and it's as simple as that. That's how you do it.